Hello gardeners. I'm here in a client's backyard having a wonderful afternoon doing some late fall gardening and I have something really cool I want to show you. So we have seen some incredible growth on asparagus this year with all of the rainfall we had in Tucson. The asparagus ferns are huge. Check this out. These are some raised garden beds and look at this absolute jungle. We have two beds here. I'll stand back a bit so you can see them. Two beds just filled with asparagus. And this is really exciting because this has taken some time to get this, uh, the asparagus crowns that we planted in these beds to a point where they're going to really start producing. And this next spring is where, where, when we're going to be able to do a lot more harvesting. So one really cool thing that I want to show you are all of these different stages of ladybugs on these things. I talk a lot in my classes about building an ecosystem in the garden. And here you can see what's happening here. See that right there moving around? That is a ladybug larva. And all of these here, these are all ladybug pupa. And then we have the ladybug adults. Here's an adult right here. And all of those stages are present here on these firms, ferns. So when we're talking about trying to create an ecosystem in the garden, this is part of that process. This is habitat for these predators and they're so beneficial for the rest of our garden. So by having a perennial like asparagus here, we're able to give them some breeding ground where they can multiply and spread out through the rest of the garden. And we've definitely seen that in this garden where there are ladybugs on in a lot of the other garden beds. So this is really neat to see and sort of a mission accomplished. Here, I'll show you there's even more over here. These ones are particularly covered. So many different pupa and larva and adults that we could even see some sort of fly through. We give it a little bit of a jiggle here. More adults there. So really neat to see. While we're on the topic of asparagus, you can see that some of this asparagus is starting to brown and that's what you'll see when you have colder temperatures. So all of the energy that these crowns have put into putting out all of this foliage, we wanna give them the opportunity to really utilize that. They'll pull through their vascular system. They'll pull all the water and nutrients back into the crowns for the winter. And as it gets even colder, these will all, all die back. That's our opportunity then to cut them down. You can mulch over the asparagus with some of them and you also can compost the rest. And that's your normal asparagus cycle. And so then when the soil temperatures warm again in the spring, then we'll see those spears starting to come up. And uh, that always gets me excited because fresh homegrown asparagus, it's one of those things that is the most different from anything that you buy in the grocery store. The sugars that are there in those spears, they turn into starches really quickly once they're harvested. So the sooner you eat them after harvesting them, the better. Looking forward to that. So at least getting a little sample of that delicious harvest, of course. Um, these are the prized possession of this customer that we work with here. So um, I'm sure you can see by the smile on my face, my joy in sharing this with you. I hope it's helpful and keep on following us. More gardening tips to come. Happy gardening.